Hey everybody, it's um, 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 it's a Monday, August 6th, I think, whatever Monday is this year. Um, yeah, it came out this night because it's starting to cool off a little bit. We're in another heat wave. We're in the hundreds today. Tomorrow's supposed to be hotter, and then Wednesday. So I have got nothing done out here. Uh, I did a video early. I haven't published it yet. Maybe I'll publish it on the end of this. I don't know. Where I came out and I just majorly pruned all the tomatoes and harvested most of it. And then over here, I went down the strawberries and pruned a lot of them down. Um, I left this cucumber out here too long. Oh well, we'll put it, get to, give it to the worms. All the lettuces have bolted, so I'm gonna be cutting those each day and throwing them over the fence to uh, neighbor has a turtle right in there. So I throw my lettuce over there that I'm not gonna eat and give it to the turtle. Um, I pruned that back, the watermelon vines quite a bit. I'm just gonna be cutting these a wind. Past couple days kind of uh, ruined this, probably the ants as well. And that's my major problem right now is ants, as you can see here. And I'll show you over here in the bell peppers. And the wind's got to this one too. I have to find a way to keep them upright. Whoops, sorry, camera. Ants. Um, yeah, that's my major problem. So I think this week, uh, tomorrow night, when it gets cooler, if I remember, I'm gonna write myself a big note on my whiteboard get at the borax and cotton balls but they really love the bell pepper plants or I don't know what it is over here they really love over here so I don't know they're on the plants I don't know if they're hurting the plants but I don't like them so and whatever that will get us to the next situation we had here when I came out tonight to feed the fish I noticed this. I noticed it last night too, but I couldn't find any leaks anywhere. And I did the same thing here. This is really wet, so I was really looking around. And then I finally noticed it kind of dripping off the uh, boards here. And what would happen is, and this might still be an issue, as you can see it's flowing up. But the roots have gotten into, you can see here, into my drains. And they just filled the whole main drain line. This is what I pulled out of there. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm going back and forth, but that's a good reason why I have this end cap here. I was able to uh, pull that off with some of the water drain this way, and I was able to pull out uh, these roots, nice healthy roots. I mean, that's a good three feet and another two feet there. But that's that was the whole diameter of that pipe almost. And so it was popping back out, and it wasn't a leak, it was a flood. It was an overflow, which is starting to do here. So I'm going to have to, I'm probably just going to kill this one off. You can just notice I already took that one out. So it's probably just a good idea just to harvest what I have here. I might keep a couple of these. <coughs> but as far as this one goes and this one goes, these two, I'm just going to harvest what I have and... Cut my losses with them, cut them, clean them out. And Todd, uh, Todd Larson, I'll throw a link down to his channel here. Give me an idea to try out. I am trying it out on this one here. He's using a painter's uh, bag to hold all the hydrotin in. And hopefully the roots won't tear open the bag, but it also will prevent them from, I got an ant on me. See, I hate ants. But it will prevent the roots from getting into the drain. That's the that's the thought and the theory. So I'm probably gonna, like I said, cut my losses on those two. I've already harvested plenty of tomatoes off of them, and they're near the end of line, end of life anyway. So before I have another overflow here, I'll probably just cut it off and let it die off, and then um, clean them and try the paint bag technique and then tonight I went ahead and hacked these two squashes down they weren't producing anymore cauliflower it was a mistake to start this early it just bolted right up along with the broccoli 
So you see a lot of empty spots here. I've been in the evening taking buckets off the system, getting them ready to clean out and fill up more. Like this guy, I gotta give him some support. He's starting to fall over. So I'm gonna tie a line across there and throw a yo-yo over here. And this cucumber keeps on producing good leaves and flowers. So I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. This one, I don't know what happened to it. The leaves are sick. Looks like I got little bugs in there. So he's probably done for as well. So I don't know with these heat waves, it seems like it's probably time to let things kind of die off. When it starts to cool, I'll clean everything up and get ready for the fall and winter plantings. And that does not include the uh, ants. So is that a celery plant? It's supposed to be a celery plant. Uh, it doesn't look like a celery plant. Anyway. It's just a quick little update tonight. I know I haven't produced anything in a while, but with the heat waves, my body and my health does not uh, permit me to stay outside much, very long in it. I have to wait till it cools down. To, and even then I can only do like 20 minutes to a half hour at a time. So that's the garden right now. I'll take you around here real quick. The corn is still doing real well. Even getting some, uh, what do you call it? Things up here. But in my understanding is I need uh, another one. Well, there's another one there to uh, have it cross pollinate or something. So hopefully we'll have some corn. The, I think this is passion fruit. Is that what this was? I think that's passion fruit. Um, it's just not moving anywhere. Since I took it out of the aquaponics and put it in the bucket here, you know, maybe I'm giving it too much water? I don't think so. I water like every other night. It is in a uh, wicking bed, so I can't underwater it. So I don't know. Banana tree. It was having some trouble, but I think it's coming back now. That we're watering it every other night. I think it can, has well drainage. You can see the weeds popping up. I need to finish putting dirt over here so I can put the mulch on top and hopefully keep the weeds out and the orange and lemon trees these two are doing well that one's still fighting I'm just gonna pop all the fruit off of it so they can concentrate on growing and then we still have our two watermelons here I think they're about ready so next video might be on our fishy poop watermelons and I want to get them out before the ants get to them because they're getting down there. If anybody has any other suggestions about uh, what to do about the ants, and like I said, I'm gonna pop borax soaked cotton balls all along the trails and hope that does something. So I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, since you're here, the whole reason I came out to this right now was to feed the fishies. Pardon, pardon the camera view while I put the uh, support underneath here. And thankfully, we didn't have any floaters on the live TV or live YouTube here. Semi live. I have had two of uh, these guys die off in the past week or two. I don't know why. They're the smaller ones. Maybe they weren't getting enough food. The big ones tend to get the food. Well, let's go ahead and get some food and then water temperature is it right now it's at 85 degrees and the air temps come down to 83 um, I have to check my graph but it has never it has not ever gotten above 88 degrees that I notice yet but we can always check the history graph that'll check but 88 was the highest now these guys are maniacs for food Look at them, they know they're getting fed. Look at them go.
This is that organic fish food from Aquaponic Supply. I, I forget the name of the website, but they really like this stuff. They actually like the small stuff I get as well. It's not organic though. But I get this for them when they're babies from the local fishery up here in Alpine, California. Alpine Fishery. These guys don't like to eat when I'm around. And as soon as I kind of move away, I'll come up, see? I trip them. These guys don't care. Anyway, while we're here, let's go check out the sump. And you can see my uh, little valves above the water, so I lost quite a bit of water with that little overflow. And I still have not taken the time to pull out the uh, Node MCU module there to see why it's not giving me the low water alarm. I need to do that before I get a real emergency and burn a pump. We can look over here and see how much water went down. Yeah, quite a bit. So it looks like tomorrow it's right here is the level. Have some algae there. That's because this side here is facing north. And June, the sun was actually over this side, so I got some sunlight there. Um, it's not getting direct sunlight anymore. But I can't keep these things topped off. I, every time I have to top it off, I have an emergency and uh, have to refill. So tomorrow, I'm going to start the cycle again. What I do, of course, if you haven't seen it yet, is I shut this valve here, fill this puppy up from the hose, and then I have an air tube I bring over here with a stone. Let it uh, aerate the chlorine out for a couple days. And then open the valve up. Oop, open the valve up. Let the water settle out again. Close the valve again and do it like two or three times until the water's up here at the 250 gallon point. So next couple days we'll be doing that. I look at my water bill and I notice when that happens. So let me get this all closed up because we do have the critter problem. Well, I haven't seen the critters in a while, but don't want them to come by and get a free dinner. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, I guess the main, duh, main objective the next few days is to uh, start pruning and getting rid of um, a lot of these plants, cleaning out the buckets. Um, August is generally our hottest month, and it generally goes into September. So get ready for September on plantings. And... Uh, We'll discuss that in another video. So until then, I will talk to you guys all later. Hope you have a good week. Stay cool. In Northern California and uh, just north of us, there was another fire today that's burning out of control. Stay safe and happy gardening, guys.